पेपर मशीन फॉर क्लास फिफ्थ daily life we use many simple devices or tools to make our work easier faster and in a better way these simple devices are called simple machines let us discuss about simple machines and their types in this video of machine there are two types of machine simple machine and complex machine Simple machines, the machines that are simple and they do not have many working parts, are called simple machines. Knife, scissor, nail cutter, spoon, fork, pulley are examples of simple machines. Complex machines, the combination of two or more simple machines is called compound or complex machines. We use a number of complex machines in our day-to-day -day works. Complex machine consists of many working parts televisions clocks washing machines refrigerators etc are example of complex machines Ta types of simple machine lever pulley wheel and axle screw england plane wedge a Lever. A lever is a fixed short arranged in a such a manner that that it can move freely on a fixed point. It consists of three parts. They are fulcrum, load, and effort. Pulley. Pulley is a wheel with a groove in it. It can turn about a fixed rod which passes through its center. The rod is called axle. The pulley does not move up or down with the load. A movable pulley is used in combination with a fixed pulley. It is used to lift heavy loads. Inclined plane. A inclined plane is a flat surface with one end higher than the other. A staircase, slide, roads, going up a hill are other example of inclined plane. Like it is difficult to lift. a heavy load onto a truck this can be easy done by rolling it up a sloping surface like a wooden plank wooden plank acts, acts like a an inclined plane yes wedge wedge if we place two inclined planks together to form a triangle we get a wedge an x is a wedge used as a cutting machine knives x and nails are other ex example of wedge which we use in another day in our daily lives screw a screw is an inclined plane wrapped around the cylinder they are commonly used to hold things together they are better than nails it is not easy to pull apart things held together with screws screw jack is another simple machine wheel and axle a wheel is connected to a rod this rod is called an axle a wheel and an axle together make a simple machine we can use wheel and axle to lift a heavy load by applying a small effort the spinning wheel and top we see are common example of wheel and axle the trailing wheel of car is an wheel and its shaft is the axle the load that can be lift depends upon the diameter of the wheel and axle if the diameter is 4 times that of the axle then we can lift a load that is 4 Four times more than the effort. Types of lever. There are three types of lever: class one lever, class two lever, and class three. Class one lever. Lever of first order. The lever in which the fulcrum is located in between the load and the effort is called class one lever. A see saw, a pair of scissor and claw hammer are example of the class 1 lever.
glass tube liver the liver in which load is located in between the fulcrum and the effort is called class 2 lever a wheel barrow a nut cracker and a bottle opener are example of the class 2 lever The liver in which effort is located in between the fulcrum and the load is called class 3 liver. A fishing rod, a pair of tongs and a broom are examples of class 3 liver. Let's know more. Tools have been in use since the Stone Age. Earlier, men used stones, sticks, and teeth of animals to do different tasks. As time passed, these tools became more sophisticated. In the third century BC, Greek philosopher Archimedes came came with up an idea of simple tools and machines. Like, share.